So one of the things that you can do with uh, Q graphics, um, obviously it's sort of like all these objects are getting painted as individual items. One of the things that's pretty cool that you can do is uh, these graphic effects. You can make your own um, if you so choose, but it's a little bit more uh, intensive. Um, but one of the things that I'm showing right now is just sort of using a drop shadow. So we have all this sort of drop shadowing that's happening. Um, and as you can sort of see, it's radiating from the center object. Um, you know, so it looks like there's a light source coming from this. Um, and this object is actually driving everything in the scene. Okay. Um, now all these objects are completely interactive. So if you move this over here, um, you're going to get a different uh, shadowing effect um, as it moves around. And obviously, just because of Z-depth and, and whatnot, you're going to have different things overlapping or going over each other. Um, that's fine, because that's just sort of how this all works. Um, this is the topmost object. Um, but it's just a, a cool way to show how you can have like multiple interlinked things. And even if I select multiple pieces and move this around, um, their shadows are getting they're staying the same because the relative position to this object doesn't change but everything else in the scene is actually updating as it moves around um, and I just I think that's awesome um, and if I drag this way over here you're going to get even more of a sort of a shadow multiplication um, but it's sort of if it's over something specific it sort of hides that out um, and I just like nerdly stuff like this um, but yeah another random example this one I actually sort of took um, note from one of the actual pie side examples, um, but sort of tweaked it around and made it to what I wanted um, because I wanted to be able to control it in, uh, individually like this because I find this is a lot more interesting um, and slightly mesmerizing actually. I feel like if you spend this long enough and while doing this, you might hypnotize yourself. Um, so <laughs> if you never hear from me again, it's because I got hypnotized by myself. <laughs>